To write the name for SO2, we first need to realize that this is a molecular or covalent compound. And we can tell because we have oxygen and sulfur. These are both nonmetals. So when we have two nonmetals, that's a molecular or covalent compound. And we need to think about these prefixes here when we write the name. So first, we'll write the name for both of the elements. We have sulfur and then oxygen. Once we do that, for the second element, we're going to change the ending to I-D-E. So we're going to cross this out and write I-D-E. So at this point, we have sulfur oxide for the name for SO2. But we need to take into account these subscripts here. We have a 1 here. It's not written, but it's there. And then the 2. So when we have a 1, we normally use mono, but not for the first element. So you'll never see mono sulfur. Mono is always just for the second one. So we leave this as sulfur, and then two, that is di. So it's going to be sulfur dioxide. So we write di, lowercase d, in front of the oxygen, the oxide here. So the name for SO2 is sulfur dioxide. If you were given the name, you know there's only one sulfur. It just says sulfur, and then two of these oxygen atoms, so SO2. This is Dr. B with the name for SO2, sulfur dioxide. Thanks for watching.